All right, so we're back on our mineral claim. Recent logging, we're checking out uh, any possibilities of new mineral showings. There is uh, supposed to be five shafts on this property. We've only ever been able to find two. Um, and there's been a lot of uh, logging over the past hundred years so uh, we just expected them all to be backfilled um, other than the two main ones and uh, sure enough today we find a water filled shaft so there's a little bit of a mine dump over here we uh, we actually thought it was a new mineral showing uh, because we found pieces and a little outcrop over there but uh, sure enough we have number three of five for our shafts there's not really too much information on this one uh, it's just other than a map in the 70s showing that there's a shaft we've walked by this area probably a hundred times and now we have finally found it. See some pyrite mineralization there. So we're gonna poke around here in the old dump, take a few samples, and maybe uh, we can find the other two shafts if they're uh, not backfilled. All right, so we've cleaned out some of the sticks and stuff from the shaft. Uh, we poked a, a rod down there to see how deep it is. Uh, you're looking at about a meter and a half from your liquid level to the top of the shaft right now and then below the liquid level. It's another almost three meters. So you're looking at about 12 feet or uh, four meters for your shaft. Could go deeper. There is a lot of mud and leaves and sticks down there, but I, I don't think it's too substantial because your mine dump is not that big. Uh, there's a couple things we noticed. You got some oxidization over there, and you got some uh, copper staining right there. Your malachite. We pulled a couple samples off uh, the dump quickly just to take a look, and there's extensive pyrite mineralization. Um, you got some chalcopyrite in there as well. It's quite substantial in some of these and then a lot it's just found as uh, disseminations. But we are going to take some of these and send these in for some testing and we'll put the uh, assay results at the end of the video. And we will uh, continue sampling here. We don't have a lot of time today because the, the gate's going to be closed for fire season tomorrow. So uh, we just wanted to come and take one last quick look and we found this shaft. So we're going to poke around quickly and see if we can find anything else. All right, so we're just back at uh, this one right here. Pulling a sample from the wall up there, and we've also done a little bit of sampling from the dump. So, most of the time, when you find a mine, if you're looking for anything that's of interest, it's going to be close to the entrance of your added shaft, whatever. Uh, because they kept the high grade material closer So this is the high grade material uh, But there's also quite a bit we're finding in the waste rock which we're going to sample and uh, send in So here's a few
few of the samples we've pulled out. You can see there's extensive mineralization. It's mainly pyrite, but you have chalcopyrite in there. See chalcopyrite right there. You've also got your pyrotite. More chalcopyrite, pyrotite. A lot of chalcopyrite in there. So a lot of this is, is fine grained. You can see how it's it's fairly fine there. And then you got a lot of the coarser pyrite in there as well. Got a little Copy right there. So we're going to be sending these in. Um, we're going to probably pull another couple of samples from this dump here and uh, see what we get out of it. And then we're going to see if we can locate a few uh, drill holes up there. And there's supposed to be a, two other shafts which we are going to uh, search for. I doubt we're going to find them, uh, but we'll uh, we'll give her a look. All right, so I just thought I'd point one thing out here. You got your material from the mine dump there. Other than your solid mineral, all that rock is heavily schistose. Um, and if you take a look here, where your rock meets your schistose rock, your fault line, you have granodiorite. So if you guys are looking for minerals, um, it's a really good spot to find it is on your fault lines. Um, generally that's where a lot of the bigger deposits are. So if you see a spot where two types of rock meet, um, very good spot to find your mineralization. So we just spent uh, about an hour climbing through a bunch of bushes and trees to find one of the other shafts. It's supposed to be right on the road, but who knows, the road changes a lot in 50 years. That was a pretty old map that we had. But we're finding a lot of pieces. You can see it's got a bit of mineralization. It's not anything crazy, but uh, we're finding quite a few of these um, all over the place, so we don't know exactly where they come from because everything is completely logged. So, let's go take a look at a showing we know is not disturbed. Alright, so half this showing is actually on uh, our property and the other half is on the other person's uh, tenure. Quartz with a little bit of pie right there. Some more there. More mineralization there. We've got solid mineral all throughout here. You hammer it off, it's pretty oxidized right now. More mineralization right there. You got more here as well. So this is found as disseminations, but there are uh, some spots uh, where you have solid mineral vein. No doubt if you remove this, there'd be a lot more mineralization. How crop starts way up there. 
anyway, that's all the time for uh, prospecting today. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. If you want to support us on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com backslash 911 Money. Have a good night, everyone.